Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio workshop. As always, I'm joined by Mad Zuri. Greetings. And today we're going over four different uh, blue circuit builds. We actually haven't done too many uh, blue circuit builds, and I'm not sure if this is all the ones we had, uh, but if we miss some, we will get to them uh, in the future. So anyway, uh, we have one bot-based one, and then the rest of these are belt-based, and I've labeled them as well um, for who made them. So this first one is Zontro, and... Uh, this pretty much makes everything, all the circuits, uh, locally. So, it, uh, requests in copper, makes the cable, and direct inserts into reds here through the box. And then the reds are directly inserted to the blues, and it requests an iron for the green circuits and copper for more cable. And then that's inserted directly in. Uh, now, Zuri and I were having a little bit of trouble. It... See, this should be tileable, but it isn't unless you, like, move, uh, blueprint it in, like, two different sections or move beacons around because on my screen here you can see where the beacons overlap. Um, the machine's no longer, uh, the inserter won't reach the cable, and if I move it for the inserter to reach the cable, the beacons don't match and it won't let you place it. Uh, I also had to add the cabling on this end because it wasn't included in the tile. That's a very good point. Unless... No, you're right, yeah. So... Unless it was supposed to... Hold on. Unless it was supposed to... Share... No, Wait, it has no. this uh, inserter sitting here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's... um. Because even if I try to do it this way, it doesn't line up either way. So... Yeah, it's a little bit off for the tiling, but otherwise it seems like a pretty good build. Uh, all the stuff being made here is pretty nice. Yeah, it's got a decent uptime, and I would call it sim semi-tileable. That's a good word. I just made it up. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, semi-tileable, I like it. So that there you go. This is this one overall pretty good build. Uh, there was a version, actually, where there was like a huge build of this that obviously was all tiled together and also had train unloaders. Um, but we figured just to cover the basic build here, since the rest of it you may want to customize. So, we can head down to this build, which is from Judgmental Joe, uh, and he says this is a two a second processing unit build, and this one is actually really straightforward. Yeah, it's a really low-tech build, tier two machines. Mm-hmm. And actually, you can move over these inputs a little bit. Oh, never mind. I was thinking of a tricky way of doing underground belts and such. Oh, right. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty low tier, which, I mean, that's fine. And uh, he is using a cool little trick here, though, with the um, undergrounds where the thing uh, only kind of hits the one flap. And then he's using um, these splitters to combine them. So we get two lines of combined red and greens on separate uh, lanes within the belt, which is pretty nice. Yeah, it's one of those inherently lane balanced designs that I keep claiming are good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it is nice. It, having it inherently balanced like this and having the stuff not mix is quite nice. And then acid goes through and you just input it from the side. Um, now, this one is not tileable. I mean, as it is, it pretty much eats all the circuits anyways. Um, yeah, you would just build lots of these. Yeah. Yeah, so you would just stamp multiple these down. And then we move down to this one and... Uh, I think this is my personal favorite. I'll let you go over this area because there's actually quite a few little tricks with where they're inserting stuff and where the belts go. Sure. It's very close to 100% uptime. I'm pretty sure it was designed for 100%, but, you know, uh, factory doesn't always work out the way you think it will. Mm -hmm. So over on the right side is the inputs and ultimately the output, and this is where you would have your main bus. Mm -hmm. The inputs, there's refeeders up here to put in a yellow and a blue belt of copper and a blue belt of iron. So every time you, you stamp this down, you would have to input more materials. Yeah. I think um, plastic's the same way. I think this is where you would input more plastic. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, which is, is really nice because uh, on my screen here, I'm showing it does tile like absolutely perfectly here. Um, it will tile in either direction, except obviously the inputs are uh, on the right here. So this would maybe be your first stamp and then uh, these would continue down and it does work great. And then you just add in the refeeders once the belts start drying up, you know, if you stamped it enough times. Um, it's, it's really nice and some cool ways of weaving the belts back and forth here. Also, they got 100% uptime between the blue and the red by putting a speed module one in each red chip factory. Yeah. Which uh, is a pretty clever little trick here to keep them, uh, you know, working 100%. Yeah, and it's built for efficiency, as you probably noticed. There's a ton of efficiency one modules in all the machines. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and yeah, so it's, I mean, the belts are a little hard to follow, but essentially just, uh, copper plate comes in, the cablers insert directly into green circuits, except for these last two, which go onto the belt for the reds, which weaves under the export inserters for the blues, which goes onto here. And if you were to tile it, the other side would merge. And then, uh, these are directly inserted and plastic and circuits come from the right. And then iron is on this blue belt through the middle with some cool, um, splitter tricks here to uh, feed it to the side of these machines. Yeah, pulling from a splitter is a very clever way of pecking in very tightly. Yeah, definitely. So this is uh, a very good build, and this is submitted by Wadzu, I think. They actually submitted a previous build we went over. It may have been a, a red circuit one or a science one, but uh, overall, very good build. I love the fact that it tiles perfectly and has the feeder belts um, just to you know, shove you more resources in if you need to. And then down here we have Don uh, Raider, and uh, this one is somewhat similar in the fact that it makes the greens on site and it is tileable as well up and down, um, but you are actually inputting the reds uh, from your bus. If it weren't for the substations, this would also be a very low-tech build, but uh, it's, yeah, still Tier 2 machines, it uses the same trick with the splitters at the previous build, mm -hmm. with lots of undergrounds. Yeah, which is, is uh, quite nice, and you can see these reds sneak in under here, and then the blues export um, into this middle thing, uh, with the pipes also running uh, through, because obviously undergrounds and pipes do not conflict. And uh, just a quick example, um, I'll just place one down here since I don't have the fluid, the source is in the way. Um, it would tile perfectly through uh, just about like this. Well, actually either way, like that potentially, or you could even, yeah, pretty much like that. So it will tile up and down very nicely. And Sorry, I didn't pre-calculate the number of stamps you can do. I think two might be it. Yeah, it is on red belt. I think the uh, iron and uh, copper would probably dry up at this point. Yeah, copper first, of course. Mm -hmm, for sure. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the limit of that, but still uh, really nice. I like it. Very compact, uh, cool looking. And uh, making green circuits on site is something I'm actually getting a lot more fond of uh, for the longest time. Uh, you know, they would import them in and I mean people still do that, but you need so many of them for blues I mean you need 20 every 10 seconds. You need two a second um, Making them and direct inserting them. I think is actually probably a better way to go Well, there's arguments for and against because it's easier to um, ship over circuits than to ship over a lane of iron and a lane and a half of copper true uh, I mean, there's pros and cons. I I, I think, uh, yeah, I, there are pros and cons. But so we kind of have both because uh, you know, Joe's up here does import the circuits if you want that type of thing. But uh, I think that's gonna do it for these uh, several different builds to pick for. Uh, blueprints in the description as always if you'd like to check them out. And uh, any last thoughts here, Zuri? Nope, that just about covers it. All right, awesome. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, and we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, as always. But until next time, we will catch you later. Later.